Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Rissa. I'm so excited about this look. Oh my gosh, guys. So this fun look here is featuring my AOA metallic lippy and I use it as an eyeliner and I did a cut crease. So if you guys are interested in getting this look, stick around. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with my MAC Paint Pot in the color Laying Low. And I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Fluffy Brush here. And I'm just going to place that all over my lid. And I'm just going to distribute it. Distribute it. Distribute it evenly. And so now I'm going to take my favorite palette at the time right now. And that is my Morphe Copper Spice Palette. Now I'm going to take my flat kabuki brush here and we're going to tap that into this nude color. I'm going to place that right up under my brow bone and tap it also on my eyelid to set my powder. So now I'm going to be taking my Morphe blending brush and I'm tapping that into this red brown color here. And this is where I'm going to start my first transition shade. And as you can see, I'm just going in back and forth windshield wiper motions and also in circular motions until I get the desired color or intensity that I would like. So now I'm taking my Wet n Wild Crease Brush and I'm tapping it into this soft brown color here. And so this is the color that is going to be going in my crease, which is my next transition shade. And it's so soft and brown, it's not a really dark color, so it, it transitions very well from that reddish brown color that I first started with. Okay, so now I'm taking my e.l.f. crease brush and I'm going to be tapping it into this deeper dark brown color here. And I'm going to be focusing this on my outer V area. And as you can see, I'm taking my time blending this in because you don't want it to be too harsh. And so now what I'm doing is whatever product is left on that brush, I'm just sweeping it over towards my crease area and my inner eyelid. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I get the desired consistency. Okay, so now I'm taking another crease brush and I'm dipping it into this black color. And I'm really focusing this on my outer V. And I'm going to be sweeping the product in as well as I did the dark brown. And with this, I'm just trying to build up the intensity of the color without it being too harsh so i'm going in and just blending everything in and making sure everything looks well blended and seamless of course okay so now i'm taking a lighter fluffy brush from morphe and i'm going into this soft brown shimmery color here and guys like i'm just putting this in between both transition shades my first transition shade and my crease shade and i believe that this really makes it come together as well because it's so soft and shimmery so now of course what we're going to do is start cutting our crease and i'm going back in with my laying low and with this guys i mean it took me a while to get the hang of doing a cut crease so you just really want to take your time and go slow and as always you can always go in and um correct any mistakes that you that you've done because on here i did mess up a little bit but you want to find a good brush good flat small brush that's what really works for me to cut your crease with so I'm just taking that and just spreading it all over my lid. I'm not going to go all the way over. Um, I'm just going to stop like a three quarters of the way. And I'm going to just um, continue to cut my crease. And as you can see here, I'm cleaning it up with a Q-tip. Like I said, it's, it doesn't have to be perfect because you can always go back in and define it, of course, with your shadows. So I'm just cleaning it up as much as I can right now. And yeah, I'm taking that deep brown again. And so I'm going to start back building up that product once more to make it a little bit more defined and to bring the brown back into the eye. Okay, so now I'm tapping into this black color again, and I'm just focusing this and darkening up my outer V area again. 
and just to intensify it a little bit more and bring some of that color back into there and once you see me I'm going to be dragging a little bit of it up towards my crease as well with whatever product is left on that brush now I'm taking my Japan Z flat eyeshadow brush and I'm tapping into this beautiful goldish green color here and I'm putting that inside of my inner lid and I'm taking another Morphe brush here and I'm going into a lighter pale green color and I'm putting that in the center of my lid and I'm just doing tapping motions I'm not really spreading it on my eyelid it may look like I am but I'm just tapping it on there and evenly distributing the product okay guys so this is the fun part I'm taking my AOA metallic lippy in the color aura which is this beautiful metallic gold and I'm taking my morphe eyeliner brush and I'm placing that product over my eyelid so I'm just creating a little wing I'm not going all the way out and extending it instead what I'm going to do is place a wing on the side of my eye if that makes sense so I'm just drawing like a little line in place of a wing and I'm also going to carve out my crease and make it defined a little bit more I'm sorry if my hand is in the way guys it was kind of hard to do it without you know my hand being in the way but you're just going to place that product over it to carve it out a little bit more so now I'm going in to my Morphe palette again and I tap my brush into that gold eyeshadow and I'm just placing that in the places where I put the metallic lipstick just to help pop it and make it shine just a little bit more and make it stand out okay so now I'm taking my elf mascara and I love this simply because the wand is so small and it catches all of your lashes and next I'm gonna take these car lashes in the number 702 and I love these because they're very dramatic and now I'm just taking my Milani um, green eyeliner pencil and I'm going to be putting that on my waterline. I will leave all the products and the colors in the description bar below guys because I don't know it offhand. And I'm just going to be smoking my eyeliner out. And now I'm just taking my mascara again and coating my bottom lashes just to make them pop just a little bit more. So now I'm taking my eyeliner brush again and going back into that gold color and I'm just dragging that along my waterline and in my inner tear duct just to make it pop a whole lot more so here is the finished look I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial me using my AOA metallic lippy as an eyeliner until next time I'll see you guys later bye